All right, everyone. Welcome to the first official meeting of the Spiteful Six. Now for roll call. First, Mr. Muscles. Actually, it's the claw now. Whatever. Dr. Dead Shark? <laughs> Impatrick Man. Get it? Because instead of Imposter, it's Impatrick Man. Yeah, we got it the first 20 times you told us. And finally, Average Joe. I just recorded a football game without the NFL's consent. Blemo, Average Joe. Diabolical. Wait, this is only five people. Where's the sixth member? Well, Candyman has kind of been in a coma since the motorcycle accident. Alright, time for our first order of business. Figuring out how to destroy Patrick Man. Any ideas? I slash him with my claw. We bite him. We politely ask him to surrender. No! Spiteful Six Headquarters, Average Joe speaking. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, okay then. Hey everyone, a deep voice shadowy figure just offered us a hundred grand to kidnap someone. Really? Who? Margie Starr. And then that's when I said, what you gonna do about it? <laughs> oh, comedy. Um, so don't you want to, um, I don't know, answer the door? Why? Well, because it's your mother and, well, frankly, sir, I didn't even know you had a mom. Of course I have a mom. She's just never visited me, so I don't want to see her. You know, sir, she might have cookies. Did you say cookies? Cookie, 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 cookies! <laughs> Works every time. Well, actually, it's Margie, but okay. Wait, no cookies? Well, goodbye then. Wait, sir, don't. Um, I mean, uh, hello there. I'm Albert the Butler. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, Patrick. I don't have a lot of time. Oh, really? So you never had time to visit your poor orphan little starfish son? Orphan? What are you talking about? You're the one who never visited me. How could I? I don't even know where you live. Wait, your father gave you the note, right? Note? What note? Note? Oh no, she doesn't mean... Um, sir, I think I know what she's talking about. Okay, I'm leaving, Harold. Yeah, 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 whatever. Give this card to Patrick. It has my new address and phone number on it. Okay, fine, I'll make sure he gets it. Well, I guess I should go. Well, that takes care of that. Now I just need to know that. and biscuits! My name is Albert. I saw your ad in the paper for a butler and thought, hey, that could be a fun job for a couple of months. How did you get in here? Oh, the back window. Right. Okay, the job's yours. Really? You don't want to do a background check or... Nah, that takes too long. And I have a meeting to get to. Here, give this note to my son. Oh, you have a kid. It didn't say that in the ad. Okay, bye. Well, this should be easy. I just need to- ah! Oh, where did that toy come from? Meow. <coughs> oh, I really hope that note wasn't important. And that's what happened. I'm so sorry, sir. I had no idea. Oh, I remember Larry the Snail. I really should have fed him. So? You're the reason my son hasn't contacted me in 22 years. Well, why didn't you ever go visit him yourself? I thought he didn't want to see me, because he never visited. Ugh. I don't have time for this, Patrick. Listen, some people are after me. I need you to look after someone for me. Who? Him. Patrick, this is your half-brother, PJ. Well, my mind has officially been blown twice today. What? Is he called that because he's half my size? Sure. Can you look after him? Of course. I'll be the mother to him like you were never to me. Please don't leave me with this man. It's gonna be okay, sweetie. I'll see you in a couple of days. Goodbye, Patrick. 
Oh man, I can't wait to show you my belly button link collection. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Oh, okay. So PJ, tell me, do you like superheroes? Yeah, a lot. Oh really? Well, what do you think about Patrick Man? Eh, he's okay, but I prefer Starfish Man. He's the best. Yeah, we're not gonna get along. Money? Phone? Where's my passport? Here it is. Oh, thanks. Oh. Hi. I can't believe this kid, Albert. He prefers Starfish Man over me. And he called my pit punch disgusting. What's disgusting about armpit body odor forming into a green gas in the shape of a fist? Sir, it's only been eight minutes. Whoa, what's that? Well, sir, I tagged your mother with a tracker before she left. As well as tracking her, it also monitors her heartbeat. And right now her pulse is off the charts. She might be in trouble, sir. Oh no, Albert, where does she live? Let me see. No way. Sir, you're not going to believe this. She lives two blocks away. You're telling me that my mom has lived two blocks away from me my entire life? Seems so. Well, I better get going. With Neptune's swiftness away! Wait, sir, don't leave me with this kid. I'm terrible with kids. I mean, look how you turned out. Oh, crumb cakes. Hey there, kiddo. Wanna watch some Wheel of Fortune? I actually prefer The Price is Right. Oh, kids these days. There we go. Man, I'm glad I spent those three summers at Knot Tying Camp. You're coming with us, Margie. Actually, she stayed. But you're all going to jail. Hi, Patrick Man. Imposter Patrick Man, what are you doing here? Oh, I joined this villain team. Why? Well, my mom wanted me to get out of the house more, and I couldn't get a job anywhere, so this seemed like the best option. You don't really think you can beat us all by yourself, do you, Patrick Man? Oh, I might not be able to, but the League of Stars can attack! Oh, come on, I sent out the alert. Where are they? Uh, uh. Five more minutes. Okay, looks like they're not showing up. No matter, though, I'll just have to beat you all by myself. I mean, how tough could you guys be? One of your team members is literally making cookies right now. Why, yes, I am making cookies right now. Raisin cookies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Quite diabolical, I know. Actually, it kind of smells like they're burning. Oh no, my cookies! <laughs> Quick, escape in the smoke! Oh, I can't see! <laughs> Hello? Margie? Mom? No! I'm not losing her again, but I'm gonna need help from the most cunning person I know. Aha! Eat my pit punch, you evildoer! With Neptune swiftness, away! Commissioner! Commissioner, where are you? Under here. Oh, sorry, my bad. What's up, Patrick Man? Normally I come to you for help. Commissioner, my most favorite citizen has been kidnapped by Maniac Madeline and a bunch of other criminals. Oh. I thought I was your most favorite citizen. Oh, well, that's because you're my most favorite policeman. What? I thought I was your favorite policeman. <laughs> I don't even know who that was. Anyway, Maniac Madeline and some other criminals have kidnapped Margie Starr. Maniac Madeline? She broke out of jail after the dreaded Patrick attack. Yeah, so will you help me? Of course, and I know just who to talk to. Way well, there, Commissioner Squarepants. Couldn't help but notice that your door's been busted through. Need me to call the old repairman? No, Lieutenant Johnson. I'll do it myself. Now quit wasting my time and get back to work. Well, okay then. Gee Willikers, that Mr. Commissioner is one heck of a guy. <laughs> oh, what was that? Sorry, the mayor finally got me a new lieutenant, and I can't have him thinking I'm just some soft commissioner he can push around, you know. Anyway, let's get going. Oh no, you broke my Patrick Man action figure. And it was in mint condition. Ah, somebody save me! Don't worry, Madeline. Super Marcus is here to save the day. Just watch out for my rugged biceps. <laughs> huh?
<laughs> How long have you two been there? About an hour. What? Well, why didn't you say anything? To be honest, we just got really invested into the story. Like the part where Super Marcus gave up his powers to save Madeline. It was so beautiful. I almost cried. Okay, but why are you here? We know what you did, Marcus. Okay, so I rigged the mayor's election. But come on, you're telling me this isn't the first time that's happened? What? Uh, nothing? We know you helped Maniac Madeline escape from jail. What? What would make you think that? We talked to your therapist. He told us all about how you were obsessed with her. What? He did? What about Dr. Patient Confidentiality? Yeah, the things you told him made him regret his decision to become a therapist. So we quit. Now he can say whatever he wants. Oh no, he's dating my mom! Marcus, focus! Where is Maniac Madeline? I don't know. Honest, she told me if I helped her escape, she would give me a kiss. Well, did she? Uh, no. She punched me and then stole my wallet. Huh, I thought I closed all my Madeline tabs. Wait, that's not a picture. This is live! Attention, Seaweed City. We've kidnapped Margie Star. We know who her husband is and demand $1 billion be put into our bank account by midnight. Or it's bye-bye Margie. Spiteful Six, out. This is bad. No one's seen Harold Star since the attack. Maybe his son would be able to pay her. Yeah, about that. His son may or may not have spent a large portion of their money on a thousand waterbeds filled with drinkable sausage and may or may not be allowed to touch the money anymore. How do you know that? Um, you know, intel. Well, I can't argue with intel. Come on, Marcus. You have to know where Maniac Madeline might have gone. No, I have no idea. But I might have a way to find her with these pictures. Whoa, that's a lot of pictures of Madeline. How long have you been... Don't worry about it. Here, these are all from this morning. Look, Madeline walks in and out of that old coffee shop. It's the one on Angler Avenue, but it's been abandoned for years. I think we found her. Let's go. So, does this mean I'm off the hook and we're all good? No, you're still under arrest. Oh. Let's hope they saw that. Excuse me, Miss Madeline, but the shadowy figure on the phone told us to bring her to him. Joe, this is Margie Starr. We can get a lot more money from her than we can from some weirdo on the phone. All right, everyone, in ten minutes, we are all going to be rich. I'm gonna buy a treadmill. I'm gonna buy my mom's respect. I'm gonna buy new shoes. But you don't wear shoes. Just let me dream. Does anyone else hear that? Knock, knock. Do you think the dynamite was a little overkill? No, I think it really set the mood. Attack! So, PJ, are you enjoying your ice cream cone? Yeah, my mom never lets me have ice cream. Mainly because I'm extremely lactose intolerant. Well, this is just the kind of fun stuff you get to do with good old Albert. Wait, did you say you are lact- <laughs> Hello? Albert, we need backup. These guys are a lot harder than I thought. Oh man! Oh, oh no! Dr. Deadshark just bit that policeman's arm off! Ah! My arm! Oh, wait. False alarm, everyone. I just popped it back in. Don't worry, sir. I'm on my way. So, PJ, want to go on a road trip? Come back and face my claw! Get back here! You're under arrest! Huh, <laughs> <laughs> ain't that a kick in the old bee's knees? Oh, please, no more! It's just too painful! Oh. I haven't even done anything yet! Oh, why well, give up? Ugh, ha! Too slow! You might be faster than my pit punch! But are you faster than a car? Oh, dang it, I mistimed that. Whoa, Albert, you just hit someone. Really? I did? To be honest, my glasses aren't the right prescription, so everything's kind of a blur right now. Hands against the bus, criminals. Heh, <laughs> take that, Sharky. <laughs> oh, man, things are starting to look bad. Better use my secret power of blending in. Hey. Wait, I thought there were six villains. Where'd the sixth one go? He vanished. Average Joe. I'm glad you're okay, PJ.
We're gonna need a bigger police boat. Hey, Mom, can I go talk to Patrick Man? Sure. Um, Patrick Man, thanks for saving my mom. No problem, kid. I mean, you don't see Starfish Man out here saving the day. <laughs> that lazy starfish. Oh, didn't you hear? Starfish Man was fighting Godzilla in Starfish City. Oh, man! They always get the cooler stuff in Starfish City. And you hear that? The police helicopter is here to pick up the criminals. Helicopter? I didn't call for a helicopter. Oh no, no coke gas! Patrick man, what are we gonna- uh... Sir, we have to- oh, I smell purple. Ugh. Ugh. Heh, <laughs> luckily as policemen, we've been trained to deal with knockout gas. Oh wait, no we haven't. Oh, oh no! <coughs> Mom! I mean Margie! Are you okay? <coughs> <laughs> Sorry for the mishap, Mrs. Star. I knew I should have done this myself. Uh, who are you people? The shadows of Seaweed City send their regards. Mom! Uh, no! Uh. Welp, I guess this is the part of the story where I tell you I'm Patrick Man and you become my sidekick. Yeah. Wait, you're what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Patrick, you killed her off? Yeah. Patrick, this is a kid's show. Are we even allowed to do that? Just wait and see, SpongeBob. Just wait and see. Patrick, who are you looking at? Oh, I'm looking at Gary. Hi, Gary. Tell me, is it done? Of course. You've done well, Shadow Three. Or should I call you Average Joe? Blamo, Average Joe. Enjoy prison, Madeleine. <laughs> hmm, maybe I could trick that dork into letting me out again. Actually, you can't, because I'm in jail too. What are you doing in my cell? Oh, they ran out of prison cells for the boys, so I guess we're cellmates. No, no, no! Why do all women react to me like that? <laughs>